Okay, it's Friday, uh, the end of April, and we're just going to walk around the house and see what's been done uh, Friday afternoon. And well, maybe one of the first things that I should do is show you what we've been working on in terms of uh, Patricia's seedlings, etc. So we brought them into the house, and so we've set up a, uh, a miniature nursery in here. And so what we do every night is turn on our Jackery, which is a battery um, backup, and uh, that keeps the plants, so this is in the garage, uh, keeps the plants um, warm, gives them light for, uh, we figure, about eight hours or so. And they're, while they're not growing at a very quick rate, they're <coughs> continuing to, um, to survive and uh, soon, we hope that we'll be able to transfer them to a greenhouse that we've set up uh, outside of the trailer and uh, continue on so that we can have some seedlings that we can put into the garden when it's ready in a few weeks' time, uh, later on in May, when we're past the uh, frost. Um, anyways, so the garage has not changed substantially. Uh, you can see here the um, other pieces for the roof that have yet to be put on. So the cap on the tops and then the bottom uh, flashing. Um, so that hasn't occurred. This is a machine that uh, is an expanding blow-in. So it takes the insulation, you can see the insulation inside, and blows it out through the hose that you see here on the ground. And it's being used uh, to actually or put in the insulation into the, uh, the, the roof, uh, to the attic space. I'm going to turn on the flashlight so that we've got some light. And Trisha is measuring to see if the space in the uh, stairs bathroom. bathroom is going to be large enough for the, the vanity, vanity that we have. <laughs> and It's good. It's 38 and a half inches. Ah, good. The vanity top is 36 and a half inches. So. That means I can paint the bottom of the vanity because I bought it on Kijiji and I can paint it and uh, know it's going to be used. <laughs> Get it installed, yeah. yeah. So here we can see the mudroom. Um, so it's completely finished in terms of the drywall. Uh, here you see spaces in the ceiling. So that's air ventilation as part of the heat recovery system. Um, and then there's pot lights. So three pot lights, and then there, the last opening that you see is going to be for the um, uh, smoke alarm. Moving across the hallway into my office, you'll see that it again is finished. The, uh, the walls are totally drywalled. The ceiling is drywalled. So smoke alarm goes up there, a light fixture light fixture and air recovery and uh, space for the window where the window will be placed once we get the outside finished and you see all the, the uh, this is the smoke alarm, those are hot lights or those are going to be lights but like, we can have directional that's, that's lights that's what I said oh yeah. okay sorry um, the, the room itself is uh, insulated so it is uh, soundproof as well. Um, it'll be interesting to see what actually happens. We were noticing that when the soundproofing was in here without the drywall, uh, the sound was really dead. It, it did not reverberate. And now that we've got uh, smooth services again, you actually hear uh, there's a fair amount of uh, bouncing off the walls and all that kind of stuff. But it shouldn't go out of the room. That's the, the important part. All right, so here the hallway has been done. That was done today. And the interior of the storage space underneath the stairway. This is completely finished as well. There's a light fixture, a, uh, a switch. And then here, not a lot has occurred other than you can see that they've connected the um, the electricity, so that's that big black cable that's actually going up into the panel here, 
and that's uh, drawing power from the pole outside. Where's your and internet cable? Where does it? Well, the internet cable will come in on this wall uh, somewhere, uh, probably really somewhere around there, somewhere around where the... I thought there was a tubing that would come through the, in the trench. Yeah, there is, but it's outside the wall and it'll actually have to be brought in yet. Okay. You'll see it's outside of the pad. <coughs> Okay. Uh, it's not coming up through the, the bottom of the pad. Going into Trisha's studio, again, it's finished in terms of the drywall is all in here. Um, so you see there's a light fixture there and another light fixture over there and a smoke alarm in up above the door. Um, this wall is the separation from the Storage room. Storage room again has two light fixtures and a smoke alarm. Oh, there's there's uh, ventilating vent ventilation as well. No smoke. no smoke alarm in this one. Uh, there is a, uh, a switch there and a number of receptacles along the wall so we can plug things in when we need them. Okay, moving into the hallway. This was done today as well. So the hallway on this side is finished and on this side. And then we enter into the generous, I think it's generous anyways, foyer that again was finished today. Uh, so we've got the, the drywall on the walls here. Front closet we're using for uh, coats and boots and all those kinds of things. And uh, we'll put a table probably there and a, uh, a bench or two somewhere in this uh, area. Lots of room for art, uh, for Patricia to hang her art. And we'll end up with a doorway that actually has a side light uh, to it um, in this space as well. So that'll be our front door. Um, drywall is not covering the ICF yet, here anyways. Uh, the rest of the space in the foyer it is, but uh, for some reason they stopped right here. We're going upstairs. We're not expecting to see any drywall up here. That'll probably happen next week, early next week. And then they start taping. Oh, no, they started some drywall. Oh, there is drywall here. <coughs> Making me a liar. All right, so there's drywall in the kitchen. These are taken down. Oh, the window. The wind, yeah. yeah the window, the, the plywood, plywood over the window has been taken down, probably to give light and to help once they start uh, taping with the drying process. This window hasn't been done though. Um, they've got this the. Uh, receptacle for the stove and they're using it for a heater that's uh, sitting on the floor. Uh, the rest of the space, um, I don't know that I've reported on this, is all insulated at this point so you can actually see the insulation on the side walls, on the back wall, going up to the cathedral ceiling. And I don't think there's anything more here. But you can see that there's plastic now so there's a vapor barrier over the four celestry windows that are going to be at the top of that wall there and you can see the rest of the infrastructure in between the, the beams and the bearing wall at the back of the space and then you've got the knee wall at the back of our dining area so this is going to be the dining area the table in this particular area here and uh, TV couch uh, a stove over on this side. Um, Which, by the way, we should look in fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then the kitchen, as I've noted before, and then on the floor, you've got the space where the island is going to be coming up. So that's what this cable here is for. That's for the dishwasher. That's for um, appliances on no, that that's side. A, that's for just for a, or a receptacle. A lot, uh, and there's another receptacle the on the other end as well. <laughs> underneath all of the drywall that's, uh, that's piled up here. And the plug here is for the fridge and this one is for 
uh, other appliances that will be on the counter because there's no additional space uh, for uh, another receptacle in this area. The um, stove and the, the range hood are going to be here so you don't put a, a receptacle there. Uh, the two windows are quite low right at the level of uh, the actual um, countertop itself. And then in the corner, there's uh, additional receptacles that you can see, and that will be right at uh, the space where I've got coffee bar, uh, so our, our grinder. And um, there will be a sink in that particular area, so the grinder and uh, our espresso machine and other paraphernalia that we use to make coffee. See, he's actually got the heater that's going to go here under this window. Yeah, that's Rather what the red cable is for, yeah. right? Another one over there. Yeah. Rather than over putting there, it over I thought there. it was going to yeah. be over there. <coughs> that's fine. Have to be skinny to get through that that opening space here. All right. So this is the guest bedroom and it again has been finished uh, where you actually see the fixtures. So it's a light fixture there. Uh, here's another light fixture that will have a fan attached to it. There's air recovery, uh, the uh, heat uh, ventilating system. Um, this is for uh, a mini split that will be on the wall, a two foot uh, system uh, for air conditioning. Etc. Um, and uh, bringing out uh, moisture in the air. Nothing much has changed in here other than all of the insulation has been completed with the vapor barrier. You can see the vapor barrier at the back of the wall as well. Uh, it's not tacked down because it's it won't be in place. It's just for the ceiling. Oh, and Insulation. There was an inspection done and it all passed. Ooh, you want to say that again? <laughs> um, they, they had an inspection for the insulation and the vapor barrier and it all passed. All right, substantially so complete. Another move forward. Um, nothing much has, else has changed in the bathroom. Um, I think we already talked about the pocket door, uh, which is right here, or at least the, the uh, um, supports for the pocket door and this is going to be the, the toilet area. There will be um, a heating rack for towels on the wall here. Uh, something that we came across in uh, Europe that we really like that idea. Not very common in North America but uh, we're going to incorporate it here. And then the master bedroom. Uh, again nothing much has changed other than the completion of the ceiling with resilient channel uh, and the um, insulation. Uh, here again you can see the, the ducting for the mini split so we can get air conditioning and uh, uh, dehumidifier working in here. The um, heat or uh, uh, ventilation return is uh, on that pipe there and other than that it's about what was in here before. Uh, waiting patiently for, well maybe not so patiently, for the arrival of the windows and doors so that that becomes a sliding door rather than an opening with paneling or a plywood in front of it. I they're putting drywall up and they're just putting plastic on there that there should be windows and doors soon. coming soon because you wouldn't leave that for a long period of time otherwise your drywall is going to get wet. Yep, for sure. <coughs> Actually, that's, that is now exposed to the outside here, this drywall. Yeah. On the inside of the window, that is drywall that is going to be exposed. Now, most of the rain does not come from this direction. This is the east, and most of our wind comes from over there. There's no drywall there yet. So again, there's a fair amount of progress. It's good to see. Um, we've had a report from the drywallers that they hope to be finished the um, installation of the drywall 
early uh, in the week next week and then they'll be starting on taping which will take about a week. They did say that there's a fair amount of um, moisture in the air in here so it's going to make the, uh, the drying of the mud that they're using for the tape um, to be quite quite a lengthy process uh, but hopefully they'll get some fans in here to move the air around make it a little bit uh, better. Um, so I think that's as far as I'm going to go with this uh, particular uh, segment today and we'll talk to you again soon. <laughs>